Welcome to Abora Data Systems video tutorial, how to update attendance plans within Fusion. Each attendance schedule record refers to at least one attendance plan which contains the detailed rules for the system to perform time recording, for example flexitime, shift hours, overtime rules, etc. The attendance plan is used to identify each working day's planned attendance function. To begin, choose Organization from the main icons, click on Time and Attendance and select Attendance Plans. To create a new or delete attendance plan, click on the relevant button. To amend an existing attendance plan, double-click on the plan you wish to amend. The attendance plan number provides the main reference for the record within its file. It is unique and cannot be altered when editing. You can give each attendance plan a description. In the example shown, the attendance plan that is being followed is standard plan. Any changes to these settings will reflect accordingly in the timeline. The notional day allows you to set the hours of the working day. This is applicable to all users however, it is essential for those working in shifts when one day runs into the next. Therefore, this option allows the hours to be recorded for the same day rather than splitting it into two separate days. To make any amendments, click the up and down arrows. The daily target is the number of hours expected to work. The core periods is the main times required to work. The plan displayed allocates the core times as being 10 to 12 a.m. and 2 to 5 p.m. The standard periods refers to the expected times to be worked. The attendance plan shown depicts a standard day that commences at 9 a.m. and finishes at 5.30 p.m., allowing an hour for lunch between 12.30 p.m. and 1.30 p.m. Click on the Day Settings 2 tab. The bandwidth enables you to set the attendance times. On this particular plan before 8.45 a.m. and after 5.45 p.m., time will not be credited to accounts. The attendance code applies to the type of plan you are following on a particular day. For example, the attendance plan, which is being followed on this particular day, is recognized as a standard day. You can specify the lunch hour. The attendance plan states that the duration of your lunch can be a minimum of half an hour but a maximum of two hours. If there is a failure to record in and out times for lunch breaks, half an hour's lunch can be deducted automatically if specified. The constant values allows you to set the values which are applicable to the hours worked. Normally, value 1 counts as a full day's work, in this case 7.30 hours and value 2 represents half a day's work, in this case 3.45 hours. Click on the Overtime Bands tab. The Overtime Bands allow you to credit hours that are outside the bandwidth which is allocated in Days Settings 2. Therefore, this gives you the opportunity to set different overtime rates and overtime times within the notional day for different attendance plans. The Copy Day tab provides you with the opportunity to duplicate the settings which have been implemented to a specific day, saving time and effort, making the process more efficient. The Weekday tabs allow you to specify and view the attendance plan for individual days if you wish. The Holiday tab enables accreditation if needed and can be used as a bank holiday or any other day, which is not applicable to the rest of the attendance plans. The Add 1 and Add 2 tabs are additional days, designed to fit into days, which are not seen as normal. They can represent half days and help to avoid the inconvenience, for example, changing every Monday to a half day, only to change it back again the following week because normal working hours have been resumed. The Tardiness tab allows you control over lateness. Click Save and Close to finish.